Tech or no tech, effective learning is all about teaching. Here's an article from the Brookings Institution. All right, let's consider a simple question. Does technology make education better for our students? Well, unfortunately, there's no simple answer because it depends. If the technology is used to enhance excellent teaching, then according to the research, it will be good for students. However, if it's used in conjunction with ineffective teaching practices, then it will not be good for students. Honestly, this should not be surprising to anyone, right? Think of it this way. The teacher is the gatekeeper of learning in the classroom. Effective teachers can make almost any strategy work, using a combination of providing students the right amount of structure for a lesson, knowing students well enough to differentiate learning, and having a personality that makes students want to do good work. Now, on the other hand, ineffective teachers can make almost any strategy fail because they don't provide structure or personalization and they lack those critical teacher-student relationships. So giving an effective teacher a bunch of computers will probably work out well, where giving those same computers to an ineffective teacher might make things worse. This is exactly why the research about educational technology is bifurcated. Still, technology companies tend to cite the research that shows devices and software working in those effective classrooms in order to make sales. But when schools wonder why the technology is not working in their classrooms, they are pointed toward the other half of the research, which can be quite expensive and frustrating. So where does this leave us? Well, since teachers are the gatekeepers of the learning outcomes, we need to incentivize them so they seek out comprehensive, high-quality, and ongoing training in order to bring everyone up to speed on the most effective teaching methods. And yes, we might need to dial back our technology spending to pay for this, but doesn't that make more sense than continuing to spend billions on devices and software that won't improve student success?